It's March 12, 5, 19 p.m. I'm here with Mama. And I've been having really painful contractions, guys. <sighs> Three days before my due date. And right now I don't have one, obviously, but I've had them for like an hour now, super painful. Like I have to get on the floor and like roll on my ball. <laughs> That's how painful. So I think this might be the start to our labor and delivery vlog. I don't want to get my hopes up just in case this is like a, just in case it's a false alarm. But so far, I cannot imagine pain more than what I've been experiencing in these contractions. So I feel like it has to be it. So Mel has the car packed. We're about to go get some food because we haven't eaten today. And just in case I do have to go to the hospital, we can't eat once we get there. So we're gonna go get in and out and have a baby possibly. And mama's gonna be a grandma. What does that mean? Oh, fingers crossed that it's not a false alarm. So my mom and I downloaded an app to track Instagram. contractions. We want to start. Okay, so see how you like press the button when you get a contraction and stuff and it will time it for you. At first my mom was just kind of like keeping track in her head, but they're happening so consistently now. We're like, okay, we need to like get an app and like really keep track. But it's like, it hits me out of nowhere, guys. Like it hurts so bad. I'm gonna try to get one on camera just for memories, but I had one like the second I turned off the camera for the last clip, I got one so bad. Shout out to my mom. I'm getting the epidural, but my mom delivered all three of us natural. I she brought this beautiful woman in the earth. Ma, I don't know how you went natural. I don't, I don't know how you did it. Yeah. I can't, I'm like, I cannot wait for this epidural and I just started yeah. the process. just got home with in and out could be my last meal you excited babe Super excited. <laughs> i'm vlogging huh? say hi to the vlog mel's about to possibly be a papa how you feeling babe pain. we're on our way to the hospital don't know if we're technically going to pull up right to the hospital. Um, no, we're going to the hospital. Okay, well, we are going straight to the hospital. I think it's time now. We were just going to go to a mall that was really close to the hospital and just walk and try and, you know, go through the labor as much as we can before no, going to the I hospital. Need, I need medicine. I need something. But now, she's saying the pain is too much to bear. So, we're going straight to the hospital now. We got a nice, hefty 44-minute uh, drive. So, we'll see y'all when we get there. So it's 7, 10 p.m. almost to the hospital. You guys, I'm in so much pain. Oh my gosh, the contractions I was having on this ride. This was the longest car ride of my life. 
Literally, we're just pulling up to the hospital now. Paul has his mask on. What's going on? Oh my God. Guys, we're in triage right now. They just checked me. I'm five centimeters and I just pulled up. Well, that's good news because now we're admitted and we get to have our boy. Hey, but contraction, babe. They said once, once she gets... Ah. They said once she gets the epidural, she'll be a lot more comfortable because she'll be sitting for hours. They said he's, he's no time soon being here, but uh, it's okay, babe. Keep breathing. Keep breathing, baby. Uh, Hey guys, so I'm recording on my phone. Um, so Mel actually um, went home real quick because we came in such a hurry, we forgot a lot of things. Like he doesn't have a pillow and blanket, I don't have a blanket, we wanna grab my laptop so we can watch some Netflix and stuff. But if you guys saw, I got the epidural and I feel so much better. Oh my gosh, like you guys, the pain was unbearable. So I feel a lot better, what is this hair doing? um so we didn't tell you guys this yet but due to the crazy coronavirus scare they're only allowing one person in the room at a time so i was so upset when i heard this like i literally started to cry because i all this time i thought i was gonna have yasmin my mom and mel with me and we could only have one person in the room so um while mel is gone my mom is in here with me Hello. <laughs> My um, poor mom, she was like, to the... grandma. Yeah, she's almost a grandma. <laughs> Guys, and also Mel has the camera, but he'll bring it when he comes. But yeah, I was super upset about the whole one person in the room. My mom was like to the nurses, like, I flew all the way in from Ohio, like, please let me in the room. And they're like, no, one person at a time, which is unfortunate. But I'm just happy I'm finally having the baby. It's crazy because I just posted on Instagram um, a post like, I'm so exhausted from being pregnant. Um, part of me like wishes I just got induced like things like that. So so crazy a few hours later I was having contractions and Now I'm here. I'm hooked up. Our room is so nice. They gave us a really nice room That's gonna be where Mel's gonna sleep. We have um, a nice view and I know mom is like I'm not gonna go home. I want to sit in the I'm lobby the I'm um, Hopefully when Mel comes back we can get footage on the nice camera because I like I had this vision for the labor and delivery vlog, but it's just not realistic to make it all perfect because that's not how it is. Like when we came in here, I was in so much pain. I know a lot of other women like come to the hospital after their water broke and they're not having contractions yet. So they can easily vlog and like all that stuff. Like I was five centimeters in so much pain. So it was really hard for me to record, but I'm just happy that we're gonna have our boy. It's gonna be here so soon. Yo, so quick update. I actually left. I know some of y'all are like, oh, you left? <gasps> but I had to run back home, grab a couple things, and I double, triple, quadruple checked with the nurses. I'm like, there's no way this baby is going to come within the time it's going to take me to get home and back. Like, I asked her a thousand times, and she was like, no, especially since we just put the epidural in, you definitely have enough time to go home and back. With this coronavirus going on, they just changed the rule actually yesterday, unfortunately, that you can only have one guest in the room at a time. But that's also another reason why I was like, I'll just run home real quick because I was with Nas for the whole beginning part. I'll um, insert some clips of the whole beginning part I was with her. Then once she got finally got the epidural on her and she was starting to relax, I went out and let her mom come into the room, so we switched off. And then I'm like, you know, instead of just sitting in the lobby, I might as well just run home and grab the things that we need. Because if I would have just been sitting there in the lobby, I would have been anxious. But while I was driving, listening to music and stuff, my mind was wandering. And, you know, so I wasn't as anxious. But I just got back, about to go take the stuff up. 
I think Nas and uh, Nas's mom and Yasmin and Ponce are gonna go try and shop for us because we didn't have time to go stock up today like we wanted to. I'm not sure if there's gonna be a quarantine or whatever's happening with this whole virus thing. Like, I don't know what's really going on, but I wanna make sure that now that I have a kid in this world that I'm able to take care of and provide for them. So I wanna make sure that we're safe if there is a quarantine. So I just wanna be ready just in case. So I advise all you guys to do the same thing. I'm not sure when this video will be up. If it's up and the stuff is still going on, I hope everybody's safe. Make sure you wash your hands and stay clean. So I just got back into the room. See, I got the vibe set. <laughs> Obviously you can't have open flames in a hospital, so we got the LED ones. Got a couple over here, some over there. I'll order them on Amazon and he's like, he better not come before the candles get here. Yeah, I was like, he can't, he can't come before the candles come. We had to get the vibes right. You know, I'm all about being cozy. Gotta bring our boy in to a cozy environment. And I have a, I've curated a nice jazz playlist. Obviously it's not playing right now due to copyrights, but I made a nice jazz playlist for us to vibe out to. How you feel? So much better, oh my gosh. Guys, the anesthesiologist came in here to check on me and I was like putting on my mask. He's like, I just want to check on you. But he's like, I see you're sitting up, you're doing your makeup. So I'm guessing you're doing great. I was like, I'm doing amazing. While Mel was gone, they checked me. I'm 7.5 centimeters dilated and they wanted to break my water. And you know, usually they use that like hook thing and she was just able to do it with her finger like in two seconds. Cause I was so defaced. So. The boy's almost here. It's a fast, definitely, it's really fast. Yeah, this is a lot quicker than if she were to get induced, so good call on waiting, babe, good call. I'm not gonna lie, life. I was a little upset, and she could tell, like, obviously it's like her body, and I want her to be comfortable with whatever happened, so I wasn't, like, mad. We just wanted to update you guys before we got too vivacious and vivacious. Started, started relaxing. So, well, um, what's, I'll, you guys will probably just see us when He's about to come out next. So. Yeah, we're about to watch some Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, so we'll see y'all when the boy's about to pop. Nurses just came in and Nas is nine centimeters dilated now, so. I called them because they told me once I start feeling like rectal pressure to call them. So I did, they checked me, I'm nine centimeters, so they made me sit up now, so like gravity can push the baby's head more down. Yeah, so now she's sitting in like almost a chair position, and they said in about an hour, it'll probably be time to start pushing. Oh, and guys, now that it's the next day, because it's 12.30, it's like past midnight, so now you can't even switch out your visitor. Like you guys saw mama got to come in when Mel wasn't in here. But now it's like you can't even like tag team with someone else. Like you get one visitor and that person only. It's crazy. Good thing mama got to come for a little bit. Yeah, it's crazy out here, man. Everybody stay safe, like I said earlier. No, this Make is y'all washing so y'all's hands and all of that stuff, man. Staying safe. Stay in the house if you can. I mean, this virus, is giving you an excuse to be in the house and relax, so do that. It just sucks that I'm like giving birth in the middle of the freaking apocalypse. Don't nothing suck. Our boy's gonna erase all the negativity that's going on around us and we can just be in the house. Mm. My sitting up has been hurting my back. Malcolm and Clutch, he packed this. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Mm. It is currently 4.32 in the morning. I have not been to sleep. Nas took a little nap. But the nurses came in to check Nas and she is officially 10 centimeters dilated. She's probably been 10 centimeters dilated for a little bit, but she's been fighting through the pain. And it just got to the point where she couldn't fight anymore. So she called the nurse. So now they're rounding up all the troops and they're about to come in and do some practice pushes with her. And then it's off to the races and it's time, time to start getting our boy out here. 
Nas knew like when she could still feel the pain even through the epidural like it was like you could always feel it but it was still it was still being pain like it was painful like before she could feel pressure but like it started to get to the point where it was starting to feel painful again and so she was like I, I feel like it's time and then they came in and they said his head was like it's like right there like the nurse was like I didn't even have to put like my full finger in to feel his head it's right there so he's ready so hopefully it's not like a long push process and we can just get our boy out quick and easy the first initial deep breath like cleansing okay. and then you take a deep breath hold it push for 10 seconds let it out quickly take another deep breath and push for 10 more seconds okay. let it out take another deep breath push for 10 okay. more seconds so each one each contraction is going to be three 10 second pushes okay. And as you get confused, we will remind you as we go along the way. As soon as the baby's out and you're all cleaned up and sitting up, you can eat. <laughs> well, I would be worried about that. No, absolutely. You've been all day without any food. So, yeah, no, that's normal. Um, Deep breath in. Okay, fill up your lungs. Hold the breath. Close your lips and bear down hard. Hard, hard, hard. Relax your face. All of your bottom. Push, 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 push. And deep breath in. One more time. So we're going to be talked about. It's going to take you a couple of times to get the rhythm of it. You got to No, you're not. Yeah. It's okay. This is your first rodeo, so we'll get you through it. We want you to hold that breath. So initially, remember I said take a nice deep cleansing breath. And do your nose, out through your mouth. The second breath, you're gonna take it in and hold your breath like you're going underwater, like you're gonna go underwater. You wanna hold it in and don't let it out. Keep all that air in and focus all of that down in your bottom like you're trying to. Eat. So we gotta stay a little bit more focused okay. and not worrying about recovery in between. It's literally like. And then, boom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And right back at it. So you keep the intensity during the contraction. And then you're like, whoo, I'm exhausted. And then you rest two minutes. Okay. And then we go back. So you want to keep it right there. You stay right with it. Even though you feel like, I can't breathe or I'm tired. You just try to push a little bit. That's a stare. Okay. Let's Deep go for it. Deep breath in. Blow it out. Okay. Hold it. Push down all your pressure. Nope, you gotta hold that okay, breath in. Okay, hold it. Hold it right there. And push all your might down here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, going out. Okay, Hold it. Strong all your pressure down here. Everything you got. Thank you. 
better now? So if you can't tell by my shirt being off, our boy is officially here. He just latched on. He was a hungry, hungry boy. So he got skin to skin time with Nas. And after a little bit, I took him, got some skin to skin time. And he was literally like sucking on my chest, on my nipple, like latched onto my nipple. So I'm like, babe, take this boy. He's obviously hungry. And so now he's feeding with mom. I'm about to go. He has such a grip, you guys. I'm about to go take a mental break, take the placenta down to the car, get us some food, and just let my mind kind of relax a little bit from everything that just went on. And our camera's about to die, so that's why I'm talking really quick. So I'll update you guys in a minute, probably in a couple hours, once we, you know, kind of get more settled in. So. Mm -hmm. 